what is up library and youtube and dtube of course so today i want to do a quick little side by side look here with the youtube app and the library app so youtube over here a um uh, which is uh what we've been using the last couple of years and library is uh, basically a community governed video platform with its own lbc token if you've been using YouTube for many years, you know that they don't have a token. They, it's not really decentralized. It's centralized. There are pros and cons with both uh, platforms, of course. So Google is using AdSense to monetize stuff. And the uh, library is using their LBC coin. And it's more community-governed platform. So... This is on my Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 10, and this is on my Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I've opened up the bo both apps over here. So if we start off here with this new library app, you can find it in the uh, Google Play Store. If you first look, it has this um, menu on the left side, while YouTube is mainly focusing on a menu down here at the bottom of your page so and you even have a tab here called uh, library basically but that is not really <laughs> i mean it's just your library of videos right so if i just go to my channel over here you can see my videos over here that i have uploaded and there are many weird things I would say with YouTube. It's like if I if I go to video section, I feel there's a lot of slob sloppiness with Google Apps these days. Because if I try to scroll down and see all of my videos, it doesn't even load all of the videos. Which is like kind of weird. Like I can't even go back to all of my videos. There is a lot of weird glitches and it seems like Google is not really caring as much as they did back in the days or... I mean, they, they have never really cared that much about YouTube, about the community and so on. Okay, so I already covered the library app a little bit uh, in, other, in other videos. So you have um, the follow tab over here. Uh, I haven't really explored it that much in this video. Editor choice, I'm not really interested about that. Uh, but all content, what I kind of like here is you can customize your tags and uh, get content based on tags and i think in many ways it may be the future of a lot of stuff the problem with uh, youtube at the moment is you don't know how the ai machine learning algorithm is working and it seems like it doesn't really favor creators that much so the related section you have no control over anymore with the current way YouTube works where they only allow let the AI and machine learning and the algo kind of control what kind of people see and what's kind of cool about library is you can stake LBC coins on videos and that makes it so it gets higher authority. So here I can go publish, uh, I can go to my library, I don't have an account over here at the moment on this device so so i can so i can't really upload at the moment i have to create a channel over here but um if i go to wallet here this is obviously the coolest thing where you can see all of your lbc coins and you can see how many you can stake and how many you have where you, let's say you do a video you really care about you can stake some lbc on it and, and makes it so it gets more exposure and more people can find that video if you want to do the same thing on youtube it is a little bit harder because you don't it's not community governed really it's mainly ai governed by the machine learning algorithm and you don't really know why some things uh, work amazing and some things don't work amazing so for example sometimes so this is a post i did today on one of my or on my main youtube channel which is actually this channel i have no idea why sometimes i get a lot of likes and sometimes i barely get any likes even though i post the same kind of content i'm not sure who who is seeing that kind of content because i have 1.4 million followers 
but it doesn't seem like Google is sending out the videos to people that actually should see the content, which is obviously concerning for us video creators on YouTube if we feel that our content is not really being seen uh, where it should like if someone subscribed to our page we want them to get the videos but it doesn't seem like the videos is going out to people because youtube is now just focusing on watch time and they kind of decide who can see kind of stuff while with the lbc the community is very very friendly and uh, they're they're basically innovating a lot for example you can have background play so i'm just gonna go to can I find my channel and I'm just going to play a video pretty quick. So if I use search. Yeah, if I just put up my channel over here, this is the same. This is my YouTube channel, which I basically have synced over here. So it automatically publish all my YouTube videos to library. So if I just play a video here pretty quick. So if I just tap down here, you can see it has a background play or you can do stuff, you can do other stuff. You don't have to pay for some premium feature to play a video like this in a corner, which I think is amazing. Like that's something that YouTube should have fixed a long, long time ago. Because what happens if, if I start to play a YouTube video, if I start to play a YouTube video, yeah, if I would play a YouTube video and I would basically, if I would start to play a YouTube video and then uh, exit the app, uh, it would stop play the video and I have to open up the app again. They basically want you to pay for a basic feature like background play, but with Spotify, I can play stuff in the background fine. So it's, it's like weird. So... There are also other weird things with YouTube where they don't even have HD thumbnails, thumbnails, uh, which is something that you get with LBC automatically. I also like with LBC how you have a repost function so you can repost other people's content on your page so you can show to them that, okay, I really, I really love this person's stuff and you want to promote it. You also have a download button so you can download videos and you have the tip button. And if it's your channel, uh, you can put uh, you can support it with those LBC coins and it gets higher authority and more people see it So it works like an automated advertising system kind of the quality also of videos is uh, Very good Sometimes it's a little bit slower in streaming if you direct upload a video what I also like about, about library is that they have um, they have a native Mac app so if you have a MacBook Pro or use a Mac computer, you you have a native app that is not something that even YouTube has. So yeah, but the main thing why I like library is it seems like they don't try to manipulate what people see so much uh, because it's on a blockchain basically. While on YouTube, they can do stuff you don't really know, like they can remove stuff and stuff like that and you can't really prove it that they have manipulated what people see. So, and I also enjoy this kind of dark theme that they have over here. So it's, it seems like it is kind of YouTube 2.0 in, in many ways. I still enjoy YouTube, obviously, mainly because they have amazing kind of analytics, something that libraries, they are pretty basic analytics, but I think they're going to get better over time. But uh, yeah, quick, uh, quick little look here, not like super advanced look, but uh, you should be aware uh, that library kind of exists right now and that uh, if you search for it, I'm just going to search for it here pretty quick. If I open up the Play Store, I search for L-B-R-Y-Y-U, uh, this basically. Uh, you can basically find that kind of app over here and they recently made a, a new user experience over here. So dark theme. 15 languages, picture-in-picture -picture mode, several bug fixes. Yeah, it's just nice. A free open community run, digital content, uh, and uh, browser and wallet for library. You own your data, control the network, you are the network. It, I, like, I like people that try to make apps that is basically ruled by the consumer 
which is actually where technology should go. If I go and watch a YouTube video where they interview some YouTube staff, the video many times have more dislikes than likes. So I see that the YouTube community doesn't even like what YouTube is doing and YouTube doesn't even have a support number basic barely. And I see that a lot of people get their video taken down and YouTube don't even care. So, and there's a lot of scams on YouTube also. It's just sad how, how they don't care so much these days. So what's going to happen is people are going to try new things like library, like DTube. And it's very cool. Yeah. Have a great day library and uh, DTube and YouTube. Bye-bye.